discuss some laws which help you to solve the algebraic equations. Those laws are commutative law, associative law, distributive law, and idle potential law. The commutative law says that when a is all with b, that is equal to b is all with a. So output remain unchanged when we change the input. So when a is and with b, that is also equal to b is and with a. That means irrespective of the input to the AND gate, if you interchange or if you swap the two inputs of AND gate or OR gate, the output remains same. It could be it could be explained like this: Whenever this is two input AND gate, so input will be A and B, and output is Y. If you swap, I mean, if you apply B to this this line and A to this line, output also remains Y. That is why A into B is equal to B into A, or A or with B is equal to B or with A. No change. And the second one is associative law. Associative means when A, B, and C three inputs are associated like this. A is or with B plus C, I mean B or C. C or with A or B. So bracket can be shifted. No issue. Likewise, when A is and with B, C, that is equal to C is and with a B. Clear? So, third one is distributive law. Distributive law says when A or with B or C, that can be written like A and with B, these two terms plus and all A or with C. Clear? Here, and and all, what I am saying is not English and and all. It is actually the logical operator and and logical operator all. So likewise, when A is all with B and C, this can be written A or with B, A or with B, and A or with C, A or with C. So this is called distributive law. Again, this law, I will put in law say that when there is two equal variables and or or with each other, it, it, it implies the same variable. What I have studied, the identity property says that when A and with A is equal to A or when A or with A is equal to A. So the involuntary law says that when A is or with A and B, so that implies A is or A is and with 1 plus B, that equal to A. If I explain this from this equation, when I take A outside, A common, so 1 plus B, 1 plus B. So when B is all with 1, it gives 1. So irrespective of the value of A, when any one input is high, the output remains high. So this term is equal to 1. When A is and with 1, it also gives A. Previously we have discussed. Again, when A is and with A or B, it also gives A. So we have studied about the laws of Boolean algebra. Let's see the, uh, some theorems. The first and important theorem is D. Morgan's theorem. D. Morgan's theorem says that whenever any and term or odd term is complemented, the and is changed to all and the all is changed to one. It can be seen like this when A or with B is complemented together, this can be give A bar dot B bar. That means when you break the complement side, where did you break the side? That term is changed. If it is R term, this will be all, this becomes all. If it is R term, it becomes and. So likewise, you can say also when A dot B is complemented, when A dot B complemented, that can be written according to De Morgan's theorem, A 
or which B and A bar or which B bar. So it was break here. Once you break here, this dot will be changed to plus. So here plus changes to dot and dot changes to plus. So this is the decolax theorem. Another one theorem is called transposition theorem. It says that when A B is all with A bar C, you can see A B C. Three terms are there. Okay, three literals are there, and only one literal is available. Both place in complemented form. In this case, this can be written like this: A is always C. A is always C, and this is and sign. A bar is always B. A bar is always B. This is a transposition theorem. Next theorem is consensus theorem or redundancy theorem. This th this theorem actually used to reduce the redundant term. That means here we have three terms A B, B C bar and A C. And here you can see this term A dot B is actually redundant term. That means this if you do not use this, the output also remains same. That is why it is redundant term. How to distinguish which one is unused term? So here you can see B C bar and A C. Here C one term which is available in complemented form. Here that means uh, among these three, if any two place one electron is available in complement form. Here C is available in complement form in these two place. That is why this is is redundant term and this can be eliminated. So this represents A C plus B C bar. If we want to derive this or prove this, how to A dot B can be represented as A dot B dot one because one do not affect. So we can write A B dot one. Likewise, B C bar dot one and A C dot one. Here, better way to explain and. As this is all term, how to find one in all? So we can write A B from this. I mean, from this A B, the one is C plus C bar. Here B and C is present. A is absent. So you can write B C bar A plus A bar. Likewise, here A C is present, B is absent, so you can write A C into B plus B bar. Here, so this 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 term implies one, so it has no effect. And so if you multiply this, it becomes A B C plus A B C bar plus A B C bar, A B C bar plus A bar B C bar, A bar B C bar plus A B C, A B C plus A B bar C, A B bar and C. So among these six terms, we can see A B C. And A B C both present. That means if A B C to take two output A dot B dot C, the output remains same. That means this one among these two, one can be eliminated. That means I am not saying to make it zero, but this can be eliminated. Likewise, A plus B, likewise A B C bar and A B C bar is present twice. So this can be eliminated. So the remaining terms are A B C this one plus this one A B C bar plus A bar B C bar A bar B C bar plus A B bar C A B bar and C. Now. You see, why is A C is present? A C is present. This term.
term and this term. So if you take AC common among these two terms, you can see AC the common here you can find B, here you find B bar. Clear? And if you take B C bar common from these two terms, B C bar, you will find A plus A bar. Here B plus B bar is equal to 1 and A plus A bar is also equal to 1. So remain A C plus B bar B C bar. So we have A C plus B C bar. This we actually want right here. B C plus B C bar. Clear? Duality theorem is used to reduce the complexity of the algebraic equation. For example, it says that if you apply the duality theorem of the algebraic network, here you change and and to or or vice versa. That means and can be changed to or and or can be changed to and. Uh, second point, 0 can be changed to 1 and 1 can be changed to 0. Clear? And the duality theorem says that and term can be changed into or and vice versa means or can be changed to and 0 changes to 1 and 1 changes to 0. But keep the electron as it is. If there is electron present, that can be kept as it is. That means A is kept as A, A bar is kept as A bar. Clear? That is your duality theorem. That means if we say like A or with B. Okay? If this is the algebraic equation, the dual of this, the dual of A plus B is A dot B. It was saying that R is changed to R. R I mean R is changed to R. So R is changed to R. There is no one and zero, so don't bother about that. And keep the electron as it is. So A is kept as it is A, B is as it is B. So this is the duality theorem. Complementary theorem is just near approach to duality theorem. And here R is changed to R. R is also changed to 1, 0 changes to 1, and 1 changes to 0. But in the duality theorem it doesn't keep the electron as it is. But in complementary theorem, complement the literal. Clear? So for example, A is and with B, the dual is A is, sorry, A is or with B, the dual is A is and with B. This is the duality theorem. But in complementary theorem, all is changed to 1, okay, all is changed to 1, 0, 1 and 1 is not present and the same in all the little r will be complemented, that means this will be complemented. So A or B, the complementary theorem says A or B will be equal to A bar dot B bar. So this is the basic difference between the duality theorem and the complementary theorem.